Programmatic SEO. Sounds complicated, but it's actually really simple. You can automate all your SEO and content marketing by letting apps generate the content for you. I guarantee it's the shortcut that your competitors are using to rank ahead of you and drive more traffic to their websites instead of yours. Let me help you fight back. In today's video, I will explain in simple terms what is programmatic SEO, how huge companies like Canva use programmatic SEO, how to get started with programmatic SEO so you can use it to your benefit, and finally, how to automate it using tools. So first, what is programmatic SEO? It sounds complicated, but put simply, it's getting your computer to do the SEO and content marketing for you. Get your computer to write the articles so that you don't have to. All you need to do is come up with a formula. And again, that's very simple. Let's use the example of the publishing business I own. I know that people search for the same thing with one small difference. They search for how to publish a memoir, how to publish a children's book, etc. The formula is how to publish and then insert the genre. And that is the process for generating these articles. So let's dive into how Canva uses programmatic SEO. I'm going to make this even more concrete by showing you an example of this in action. So Canva uses this in a big way. You can see on their website when you go to canva.com forward slash create. And let's take a look at social media. So we've got YouTube thumbnail. If we click on this link, it'll say create an irresistible YouTube thumbnail for your video. Now, if we go back to the next one, we click on YouTube banners instead. It's going to say YouTube banner maker. And basically what it's doing is they are thinking about all of the possibilities that people might be searching for and then coming up with a page dedicated to that search term. So again, we might have resumes. If we click on that free online resume builder, that's something that people are highly likely to be searching for. And then you will have business cards. So you would have free business card maker. So you can see the similarity. They've just changed a keyword in there. So resume instead of business card, you know, so on and so forth. They can just create more and more of these. On top of this, you can see in this screenshot that I've taken from Ahrefs, which if you don't know what that is, it's a tool that helps you either find keyword terms or analyze search traffic. What's important here is we're looking at the canva.com forward slash create. So that is the page where we just were, where I was showing you all the various pages they've created using the same formula, just varying a keyword. And what you can see is that they are driving 7 million visits using this process. You can see, you know, it estimates the traffic value at $5.5 million. So you can see how powerful this process is. And that's why it's so important to apply this to your own business. So now let's move on to how you can get started with programmatic SEO. Now that we know it works and it works for enormous companies, how can you do it? Well, in the past, you would have needed to hire a developer, build a lot of complicated code, maybe have some editors and a writer on staff as well. But now we can just have AI do this entire process for us. So there are a couple of options. One is much easier than the other and requires paying for a tool, whilst the other is free, but it takes a little more effort. One of these methods raises the risk of getting caught by search engine filters that can now catch AI generated content, while the other option allows you to avoid these filters entirely. And before we dive into the tools in more detail, you need to know what keywords you are going to target. So you could use a platform like Ahrefs that I mentioned before, which does cost money. You can input your website, you can search around and find the search terms you should be targeting. Or if you're on a budget, you can simply take a look at your competitor's website and see what they are targeting to get some inspiration. Finally, you just need to think about what your customers ask you. So what do your customers ask you in emails, what do they ask you on the phone? Those are the terms they're gonna be searching online to try and find a solution to their problem. 
So how can you automate this using tools? Well, the one I use is called byword.ai. At the end of the video, I will link to a full deep dive on this tool. So make sure to check this out after the video. This tool is going to do it all for you. You simply need to let it scan your website. It will suggest some keywords you should target, and then you simply select the keywords you want from the list. Then it goes off and it writes the content for you. The main goal here is that it takes a commonly asked question that has a number of variables and creates unique articles for you. The other option, the free option, uses ChatGPT, and I'll jump into that in just a second. But first, let me show you ByWord AI really briefly so that you see what I'm talking about. So here, what you can do is you have these custom formats, is what they call it. You have this programmatic builder you click on, and what you're going to do here is enter in some keywords or an article title, and then it's going to create a number of variables for you. I like to use the get ideas button. It will simply scan your website. So you just put your website in here, scan it, and it's going to come up with some ideas for you. So I'll show you how that looks. I've already, of course, completed this process and you can see the articles here that it has created for me. So the book cover design articles are a really good example. And what it's done is created how to design a romance book cover, how to design a thriller book cover, so on and so forth. So it's just replaced that one variable for me to create all of these unique articles. Now, the second option, if you want to do this for free and you don't want to use a tool or pay for a tool is to use something called ChatGPT. I'm sure you are familiar. And you would have to do this by varying the prompts that you give it. So for example, could you tell me how to publish a memoir? Could you tell me how I would self-publish a romance novel? And it's gonna spit out very specific information about that. Query. Personally, I would pay the price for ByWord. It works out really cheap per article. And of course it avoids the plagiarism detectors, which can't be guaranteed by something like ChatGPT. But if you want to go a step further with ChatGPT, then you really need to think about varying what you put in. So asking it questions, maybe it spits out an answer to your question and then prompt it again to change something and maybe do a little bit of editing yourself. So that would be a great way if you're on a really really strict budget for your SEO. What's really cool about these tools is that for the first time, smaller businesses have the ability to tap into programmatic SEO and really compete at scale. The success of a campaign like this is going to come down to unique articles that are relevant to what your customers are searching for. So really do your research on the questions they're asking and what they're going to be putting into the search engines. If you enjoyed this video, then click the link on screen now where I deep dive into the byword.ai tool and explain exactly how to use it step by step. Make sure to subscribe for more videos like this and I'll see you in the next video.